Okay, my name is Ron Begley. Uh, role with uh, Synergy Reps is I am the New England Territory Manager, which means I am responsible for covering all six states in New England. Experience includes three plus years in the HVACR industry. Background includes sales, marketing, and also working on a chimney as a chimney technician. We do encourage everybody to follow our Facebook page and our YouTube page. We do pump out a lot of product information. New products, um, when they come out, we put them on there. We also pump out information on existing products and um, little details when it comes to that kind of stuff as well. As we mentioned previously, we are going to hold questions until the end. And as I mentioned before, Scott Mulvaney is our co-host here. He is out of Pennsylvania. His role is our consultant for New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and upstate New York. He does have seven plus years in the HVACR industry with over 20 years in growing sales, marketing, training, and coaching for success. So our agenda today is to define IAQ technology. We're going to understand UVC versus UVGI and ASHRAE recommendations. This is our big takeaway I really wanna focus on today is UVC and UVGI and ASHRAE's recommendations. So if we take nothing else away from this, these are the two main things. And then we're also going to look at product recommendations as well. So the first thing we're gonna get into is when, where, and why. We're gonna to want to look at filtration, UV disinfection, and UV air purification. To start off the presentation, we're just gonna look at a residential application here and kind of look at a full product setup. So first we're going to guide your guys' eyes up to the first picture there up on the right. That is going to be our Orion product. And we're gonna get into each of these products individually and the technology that goes with it. So the Orion product is an ionization product. It's going to electrically charge particles in the air and basically it's going to clump those up and it's going to basically make those bigger, allowing them to be caught in your air filter better. It's going to take any filter and basically enhance it. Next, we're going to look at, after the filter, you're going to look at UVC lamps, which are going to go over the coils, providing surface level disinfection. After that, we're going to look at the airstream after the blower wheel there, and we're going to look at UVC lamps in the airstream, providing airstream disinfection. And that, and as the presentation goes on, we're going to look at the importance of treating all those different aspects of your system there. So our common IAQ technologies are going to be UVGI, PCO, and ionization. We spoke a couple slides ago about the importance of UVC and UVGI. So first UVGI is ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. It is a disinfection method that uses short wavelength light UVC to kill or inactivate microorganisms. This occurs by destroying nucleic acids and disrupting their DNA, leaving them unable to perform vital cellular functions. So the key takeaway from that is UVGI is the method that uses short wavelength light UVC to kill or inactivate microorganisms. So you need UVC lamps to get UVGI technology. PCO is the photocatalytic oxidation. It is a very powerful process to combine UVC irradiation with a substance catalyst, titanium dioxide, TiO2. This catalyst effect results in a reaction that breaks apart the cellular structure of pollutants. We're gonna bring up a short video here. It's going to basically give us a visual representation of one of our products using PCO, basically showing you what's happening at, with, with a visual representation here. Here's how it works. The UV Photomex Advanced Oxidation Module is coated with an exclusive titanium dioxide formulation. When UV light is applied to the surface, the titanium dioxide coating becomes energized, causing it to release electrons. The electrons then combine with oxygen to create what are known as superoxides. The titanium dioxide then collects replacement electrons from moisture in the air to become charged particles known as hydroxyl radicals. Together with the superoxides, a powerful photocatalytic oxidation, or PCO field, is created. 
As odors, germs, mold, and other VOC organic molecules approach the PCO field, they are disassembled as the oxidizers pull electrons from them. The purification process is completed with the remaining molecules recombining to form simple water vapor and trace amounts of carbon dioxide. Ultravation's advanced oxidation process so if you want to get very simple with that, it's basically going to inactivate VOCs. And if you want something that you can tell a contractor to tell us homeowners, it's going to start to kill um, bacteria, viruses, and eliminate VOCs. And that is going to start to kill household odors. So if you do, if you do smoke in your house, if you do have pets, if you get that dirty laundry smell, things like that in your house, something like PCO is definitely going to help out with that. Ionization is the other common IAQ technology we spoke about with uh, Orion. This is what you're going to mount right before your air filter. And when ionization is taking place, it's electrically charging air molecules by generating negative ions using electricity and discharging them. These negative ions attach to positively charged particles and triggers a bond to create denser particles. So this is basically taking any type of filter you have, whether it's a one inch filter, whether it's a MERV 11, MERV 13 filter, and it's going to enhance them. In simplistic terms, it's clumping up these bacteria, viruses, allergens, molds, odors, VOCs, and it's making them bigger, allowing them to be caught in your air, air filter a lot better. This is also going to be really good for people that smoke and have a lot of indoor allergies and things like that. This is another visual representation kind of what's going on. All right, let me go ahead and jump to the next slide here. So ASHRAE's position on this, this is something else I really want to drive home with you guys. And this, these are all links that I'm going to send you after the presentation's over today. I don't want to jump into these because it's a lot to read, but this is something I would definitely recommend that you read and even send out to your contractors after you guys read these. But ASHRAE's position on killing bacteria and viruses is to use UVGI technology. We spoke about how UVGI technology is only found in UVC lamps. So they recommend that you use UVC lamps that produces UVG technology, UVGI technology in the airstream and on surfaces to kill bacteria and viruses. So that's what we're really pushing when it comes to killing bacteria and viruses because that's what ASHRAE's position is on this. And we do have their link from their handbook that suggests this. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to the next. So we want to understand UVC energy. First, we're going to look at the chart on the left there, the ultraviolet light. And that's going to be basically, when you look at the UVC on the spectrum there, when it's in conjunction with the UVB and UVA, you see how potent it is. It is the highest, most concentrated energy packet that is found on that UV spectrum there. It is the most destructive packet of energy that does not reflect or refract nearly at all. It is the most dangerous form of ultraviolet light. The UVC energy renders microorganisms lifeless in a fraction of a second. Second, it is extremely dangerous, but it is uh, extremely efficient as well. That's why it is recommended. If we look at the purple picture there, it does show you the efficiency of a UVC lamp producing UVGI technology. The closer it is to a surface, the more efficient it is. The further away, it does lose efficiency. So if you look at kind of the silver dot in the middle of the purple there, that is showing the greater efficiency, the closer it is to a surface, and it starts to lose that the further away it gets. So with a lot of our products, you do have us, you do have the factory to recommend, especially when it comes to the commercial end of things, we do recommend products for you guys, for your contractors, when it comes to solving for certain bacteria and viruses. 
And this is part of the reason why when it comes to creating a certain amount of efficiency, if you're trying to sell for a certain amount of efficiency, you need a certain amount of lamps to be able to do that. So we'll go ahead and jump to the next. UVCI and UVGI technology, we're really wanting to drive home this connection. So we're just putting it in simplistic terms with this slide. UVC is the lamp type and is also part of the electromagnetic UV spectrum. UVGI is the technology slash the tool that is generated by using a UVC lamp to sterilize slash neutralize pollutants. UVC lamps used directly on the coil performs UVGI on the coil. UVC lamps installed in the airstream by themselves do UVGI in the airstream. UVC lamps in an upper room unit do UVGI in an upper room application. UVC lamps used in combination with titanium dioxide coated products for PCO do UVGI in the airstream plus PCO. So it is fair to say any of the products with UVC lamps do UVGI in addition to other technologies that UVGI may be combined with. Go ahead and jump to the next. So next we're going to understand our T3 class UVC bulb and how it is better than a standard UVC lamp. We do have a standard UV lamp. I'm gonna point you down to the first chart there on the bottom right, and we're going to look at a standard UVC lamp. It's going to have about 60% efficiency, and then we're in the red dot, and then we're going to look up at the green dot, which is going to show our T3 enhanced lamp that is going to pump out 100% efficiency. So we do have that typical UVC lamp, but you can get the upgraded T3 enhanced lamp, which I typically push to my customers just basically because of the 40% more efficiency and all of our T3 lamps do have a two year lamp life on them as well. And some of the other benefits you get with the T3, besides the 40% more efficiency, they are insulated with a gas that protects the lamp from cold air. And the reason being they are coated with this quartz sleeve that encases the lamp, which lowers your overall electrical cost thanks to the insulation process and the lamps are protected from the moisture and the breeze, allowing for the longer service life of the bulb as well. Go ahead and jump to the next. So you might've heard me speak uh, briefly about what we're trying to solve for. Um, and that's a question that the contractors have to ask the homeowner. That's a question that the contractors have to ask when they're going into a commercial situation. Are you trying to solve for particular type of virus? Are you trying to solve for a particular type of bacteria? Or are you trying to solve for a combination of the two? And what is the efficiency that you're trying to solve for? So typically, when we send out a quote, when we are recommending a product, we have kind of a good, better, best standard when it comes to efficiency. You can, so just to put it in simplistic terms, say you have 50%, 75%, and 100% efficiency that you can solve for. This chart here is going to be an optimal situation. So for instance, we're looking at the blue. Here is in representation of treating the coils, and it's also in representation of treating bacteria. If you notice at the bottom there, that is a bacteria there. If you just treat the coils, you are going to treat that bacteria at almost 100% efficiency. But it, say you're trying to treat for ecovirus at the top, if you only treat the coils, you're only going to get to 23.92% efficiency. So you do need to treat the airstream as well to achieve that maximum 99 <clears throat> percent plus efficiency. So that's why we always have to ask, what are you trying to solve for? And what percent efficiency are you trying, are you trying to solve for maximum efficiency as well? We typically like to recommend that you definitely treat for both coil and airstream disinfection. And that's what most people tend to do. We'll go ahead and jump to the next. So first we're gonna jump into our residential solutions. 
those are just kind of a visual representation of some of the products that we're going to jump into. So first we're going to go into our entry level residential coil treatment. This is a great product for somebody that's just starting out with indoor air quality that wants kind of your bare bones type of application that is slightly upgradable. This is going to be our UVC advantage. It's going to have a great price point. It does have that UVC lamp that produces the UVGI technology. You can mount this right over your coils. This does come in a 12 to, or a 17 inch lamp. You can get a standard UVC bulb or you can upgrade to our T3 bulb as well. One of the other cool, thing, cool things about this is that you can upgrade to the PCO module. So you see that little module at the top there? That is a PCO carbon module there. So that is going to help kill bacteria and viruses and also eliminate household odors and smells and things like that. We'll go ahead and jump to the next. This is our Ultravation Ultramax Easy UV Signature Series. This does have a lifetime warranty on it. This does um, mount right over your coils. And the benefit to this, it does have that power module on it. So you can mount two UVC lamps into it. So you just wire it into your system one time and then you can add multiple lamps to that. That does come in 12 or 17 inches. Um, and like I said, connects directly to the home wiring. Modules available for 24, 110 or 240. It does uh, have that germicidal T3 lamp to disinfect wet coils. So you don't get, you don't even have the option for the UVC standard lamp on that. It comes standard with a T3 lamp. And you do install that in a new HVAC system. You can put that on an older system as well, but it does help a new system run like new if you install that right off the bat. And then you do install that to reduce biological contamination and make the air healthier as well. And just like all of our products, homeowners cannot order replacements for these as well. We sell it directly to the distributor to sell to the contractor. So next we're going to get into some of our bigger products. I know there's some other products out there like the Remy Halo that um, we compete with and our next two products are are basically our comparable products to those. And I'm gonna kinda go over some of the differences that you might wanna look at when it comes to that. So first we have the UV Catalyst, and this is a product that you would mount in the Airstream. This product does have a self-recharging carbon that goes for 10 years. It does have a lamp system that does monitor itself and will let you know when the lamp is no longer efficient. It has activated carbon PCO, which basically means that it does not produce any ozone. The carbon will absorb any ozone that takes place and that PCO also does eliminate the smells and um, things like that in the VOCs. That is considered a whole house air purification and one of the cool selling points of something like the Catalyst, you can get it in just a standalone where you would mount this in the Airstream, or you can add in a 12 or a 17 inch easy light for the coils, which basically means you can get an additional lamp that plugs right into the Catalyst that you would mount over the coils. So instead of getting a whole new product that you would have to wire into the system, you would just get an add-on lamp that you plug right into the catalyst that you would then mount over the coil. So as we spoke about, it is extremely beneficial to treat the airstream and it's extremely beneficial to treat the coils. That's the way you get surface disinfection and airstream disinfection. And you can do that with this one product here. So it does make it a very cool product and you don't have to worry about ozone as well. Some people are sensitive to ozone and if you do get those types of customers, then you definitely want to be able to recommend a product that, that you can recommend that for those people that are sensitive to it. So we'll go ahead and jump to the next. Next, we have the Solaris. This is our beefiest product when it comes to residential. Our Solaris has activated 
photocatalytic and silver ion oxidation, four times plasma generation, kills household odors, kills bacteria and viruses. It gives you that thunderstorm fresh air feeling and it has, lifetime, it has a lifetime warranty on it. So basically this product has three technologies all in one. It has ionization in it, it has PCO in it, and it has the UVGI technology coming from the UVC lamps that are installed in it. And it also has the ability to be placed in the Airstream with the ability to add on the 12 or 17 inch easy light for the coils. This does have the ability to turn down the PCO as well. So we spoke about how the um, catalyst does not have any ozone. This just like say a Remy Halo does emit a little bit of ozone. And this just like the Remy Halo, you can turn down the PCO a little bit if the ozone is too much for the people in the house. This allows you to turn down the ozone pretty far and it never inhibits the UVGI technology that's taken place. This also does have a lifetime warranty on it as well. The surface level or the surface that the PCO has taken place is much greater than our competition as well. And um, the construction of this is um, all metal with um, aluminum and uh, metal construction as well. Another really neat product that um, has become very popular lately. This is our portable air purifier. This is good for spaces up to 500 square feet. This is a plug-in unit. You can leave this right out in the open. This is good for people uh, sitting in their office at their desk. This is good for dorm rooms, for small personal gyms, for laundry rooms, um, you name it. Any place that's um, 500 square feet or smaller, this would be a great product that is going to make a place smell better. That's going to give an indoor air, um, give, give you that indoor fresh air as well. This is another really neat product that I push a lot. So we spoke about ASHRAE's recommendations and how they recommend that you use UVGI technology to kill bacteria and viruses, how that is only found in UVC lamps. So we do have UVC lamps for mini splits. I know there are other products out there for mini splits that do indoor air quality for mini splits, but they are not doing UVC lamps with UVGI technology. We do have UVGI technology through our UVC lamps for mini splits. It's called the M series. And with this M series, it does come with two seven inch lamps. It is a very slim design. It wires right into your system. It comes with that little power module as well that you can mount on the inside of the casing of the mini split if you have room. If not, we suggest that you just mount it right on top of the mini split. If it's mounted towards the top of the ceiling, which most of these things are, you'll never see them anyway. You can mount this right over the coils as well. If you guys are ever in restaurants, if, you're, if you've are if you ever taken apart these things and cleaned these things, they're disgusting. I've take, taken these things apart and I've cleaned them and they get pretty nasty even after six months. So they do have a one year lamp warranty. So if guys are in there cleaning these things every year like they should be, if guys have PMs for restaurants they realistically should be in there cleaning these every six months but you should be cha changing these lights every year but if they're in there cleaning these things once a year replace these lights with your yearly maintenance and you should be good to go this does um give you that surface level disinfection when it comes to the coils and you're still cleaning that blower wheel off as well but this is a great product it is um it is affordable as well but it is, this is an awesome product and you would just replace the bulbs on this as well each year. You don't have to replace the power pack or anything, just the bulbs. The Orion Ion Generator, this is your filter enhancer. This is going to electrically charge the particles, allowing those to be caught in your air filter. This is when you wanna make your system just top of the line. You wanna go all out. You're going to mount this before your filter. You're going to electrically charge those particles and those are going to clump up and be caught in your air filter. Then you're going to mount the 
UVC lamps over the coils, and then you're going to put either the Solaris or the Catalyst in the Airstream there. This is also great for ICE machines and PTAC units as well. Go ahead and jump to the next. This is something um, <clears throat> I wanted to touch base with you guys on as well. These are our filter boxes. We do have MERV 11 and MERV 13 filters. We do have the straight throughs. We do have the right angles, but we also have the support boxes. Our support boxes are really popular as well as our other filter boxes, but um, I like to push our support boxes because they're pretty unique. Not a lot of people have those. I know some people do make their own, but um, they are insulated. They're very well constructed. They do come with the filters. And one of the unique things about our boxes in general is that we do paint these to the color of your guys' equipment and we can put the contractor's names on these as well. We do a silk screen printing process. So it's not just like a sticker or something that you can um, peel off um, easily. Like it's, it's very smooth on there. You can't, um, can't take your fingernail and kind of scratch it off if you wanted to. But this is a really neat product as well. We'll go ahead and jump to the next. Next, we'll jump into our <clears throat> commercial solutions. The SI is going to be for your coils. AS is going to be for the Airstream. 4X is going to be for your rooftops. And then Upper Room is a very unique product that we'll get into as well. Jump to the next. Coil and Airstream UVGI for custom solutions. What are you solving for? This is when that question really makes the most sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you are in a commercial setting. What are you trying to solve for? Is it bacteria? Is it viruses? Is it a combination of both? So we'll go ahead and jump to the next. Types of UVC insulation, surface contact, airstream. So anytime you have UVC lamps installed, you are going to be using UVGI technology, which is going to be disinfecting the air, disinfecting surfaces that it is shined upon. It is going to prevent biogrowth. It is going to give allergy relief, efficiency optimization, and it's going to eliminate coil cleaning as a result of biocontamination and give you airstream disinfection. There is going to be air passing through, even on the coils there as it goes through. Types of UVC insulation for surface contact and airstream. This is going to be our UV matrix 4X. This is going to be ideal for rooftop package systems. It does have that NEMA 4X rated enclosure for outdoors. It does require limited space. It does give you biogrowth prevention, allergy relief, elimination of coil cleaning as a result of biocontamination and airstream disinfection. This is our AS. This is going to be what is put in your airstream here. And same thing, improvement of indoor air quality through the reduction of airborne pathogens, allergy relief, odor reduction due to biocontamination, and available with PCO photocatalysts. So this is this all comes into play, especially when you guys um, are asking what, what are we trying to solve for. This is when we recommend products accordingly so depending on if you're trying to solve for bacteria viruses we need to know the measurements which we send out a form to you guys which you can pass out to all of your contractors and they take measurements of the coils of the ductwork and what they're trying to solve for then it allows us to be able to recommend the products accordingly and we tell you how many of these you need to put inside the ductwork over the coils and we can tell you and they can also tell us how how much of a percent they're trying to solve for as well sometimes money comes as a factor when it comes to that so obviously if you're trying to go maximum efficiency you're going to need more bulbs than you would if you're trying to do maybe like a standard disinfection so that is that is um, a factor when it comes to this as well <clears throat> so this is a really neat product that is very popular overseas and it is getting very popular over here. Um, this is kind of what sparked this training actually. Um, I believe one of Brian's customers ordered the FS series. And I'll just go through the definition real quick and we'll get into it a little bit deeper. This is Ultravation UV Matrix F FS series, germicidal ultraviolet air disinfection for commercial and institutional applications. It destroys airborne pathogens 
in the air by exposing the upper regions of the room only to germicidal UV light. As air naturally circulates in a room, all the air will be exposed to UV light. Yet the design makes it possible for the room to be occupied during the disinfection process, which is the ideal time to reduce the risk of spreading infection as well as allowing continual air disinfection. The FS series system uses fins or louvers to exclusively and safely direct germicidal ultraviolet rays emitted from two vertical UV lamps across a room's upper air. The seven foot minimum insulation height requirement must be observed to ensure the safety of the occupants. So we wanna make sure we say the seven foot minimum insulation height is a requirement for this. So must make sure we adhere to that just for safety reasons, but this is a great product for rooms that do not um, have ducted systems in there, um, some smaller restaurants, um, offices, things like that. Um, definitely a great system. You can have this running while people are in there as well. As we'll see in the next slide here, air naturally passes through the top of um, room. So we'll see the left hand chart there and how ultraviolet rays project across the upper room region. So it passes through and then it goes down. So the air is continually being disinfected as it's passing through there. And this is another one of those products where when a contractor goes into a situation, they're going to measure the room and we're going to be able to recommend how many of these they're going to need per room. So the one of these is going to do a certain amount of square feet per. So all they'll have to do is measure the room, come back to us and tell, tell us what they're working with and we'll, we'll give them a proper recommendation for, um, for their situation there. And then if we look at the right hand chart there, that's going to show you, if we look all the way to the left, the darker the blue is, the more efficient that is and then it kind of loses efficiency the farther away it gets. So the more of these you have in a room, the more uh, disinfection rate you are doing. That's another reason that you would um, you would add more more there, and you can kind of see it from a top down approach there on the left. These are very small too. I think they're like four fourteen inches by twenty inches, so they're not very big either. Yeah. 14, and you have two 12 inch vertical UV lamps that, that are inside those as well. Yeah, total size is 20 by 14.5, and it's only six inches deep coming off the wall. Okay, thank you for that. Right, we'll go ahead and jump to the next. Oh, we'll go back. Uh, just as a line reminder, you guys do a lot of business with us and we definitely want to thank you for that. And just as a lot line reminder, you guys do uh, 521 with us, compressor savers. We do have search protectors uh, with those guys as well. They're a Blue Hawk brand, Air Technologies. You guys throw us quotes for fire damper CRDs. We do have louvers from those guys as well. They're also a Blue Hawk brand. PDM, you guys are doing a lot of line sets with us. We definitely appreciate that. We do have Red, Red Devil for caulk silicones and duct sealant. We have Thermoflex for flexible duct. They are Blue Hawk as well. Ultravation, which we're discussing today. You guys do Vimco with us for vibration isolation. Thank you for that. Apollo slash Air Products, you guys are doing a little bit with us, uh, with those guys as well. That's your Indux smoke detection, special carbon monoxide detector. Those guys are also Blue Hawk. Arzell, you guys are our biggest supporter of Arzell, so a big thank you for, for that. H2O Coil, our, our newest line that is aftermarket coils. We do have HCP as our metal line. Light Star is our flashlight line. And then Western Nitrogen Regulator is our three-in-one nitrogen regulator. And um, we'll go ahead and jump to the next slide there. And we're going to open up the floor to uh, questions and we'll uh, unmute everybody for that one. <laughs> 